Hello everyone, welcome back to another video, and welcome to a quick little video I want to make about this little thing here. So, you can see, um, actually, to start it off, um, I promised a guy who was talking to me in the comments about my, um, ghetto liquid cooling, uh, that I'd make a video about this, um, thing. As you can see, it's finished. Um, bad luck ensued when trying to film this when I was making all this stuff camera stopped recording when I was putting these on I forgot to hit the record button putting the fans on and wearing everything uh, I forgot to hit, hit record and I accidentally erased the SD card when I was um, backing up some stuff to those two extra hard drives you see down there or on my desktop there uh, a whole bunch of stuff so I'm just gonna make this quick little video making a tour of this so this is my um, all-in-one water cooler that I made uh, so basically what this is for is I'm going to be upgrading my gaming computer in the near future. And, um, yeah. So when the RX 480 comes out, I'm going to grab one of those and all that. So, um, I might get a 470. Anyway, um, I'm just going to make a little tour of this, like I said, as I hit the tripod with my chair. So, this, um, you can see I have my two Raid Max fans on the front, and they are powered... Um, with no tachometer to the 12-volt uh, side of this Molex connector. You can see my um, awesome job of insulating it because I ran out of heat shrink again. So, yeah, there's that. They just run at 12 volts all the time. They're really quiet and they move um, a decent amount of air through the radiator. So I'm not really worried about noise and uh, performance on that. But um, you can see I have my pump wired to um, a 3-pin Molex. Once again, awesome insulation. Um, all this, I have the cable braided as well because I wanted it to look nice. And I use the pump res combo uh, that is cable tied to this bracket. This bracket's made out of two layers of foam core glued together. And I used a little Home Depot um, little washer things to attach that. So, um... Yeah, there are six of them just holding it on there. And then, it, like I said, it's cable tied to that. So, turning it around, uh, we see my radiator, same thing on the other side. The fittings here, this one came off of my GPU um, block, and then this one I bought at Home Depot. It's a 90 degree elbow. So, water flows from out of the reservoir, the pump res straight to the CPU block, uh, down, and when it's mounted like this, bubbles will go, will go uh, straight up into the radiator, and then back, the water goes back into this. And, um, yeah. So it's just generic tubing I got from Home Depot, like last time. Everything's cable tied together, uh, it's, so it's a lot neater. And um, still the same block from the ghetto liquid cooling. I'm not gonna be cooling the GPU because I just don't feel like it, to be honest. Too much work, it's not organized, it's not clean, um, and I want a really nice build. So, um, I'm not sure how long this video is. It's probably gonna be like seven minutes if it's not already. Um, but, uh, that's basically it. It cools um, my Core 2 Quad, no, it cools, um, in the next video, video, you'll see the board I'm testing. It cools an FX 6300 AMD just fine, um, especially when there's no fan moving air through the radiator, which was a horrible mistake. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, so block is all fine. No, no corrosion that I can see so far. Um, on the back of it, though, I touched it about one too many times and you can see um it's like my Mac Pro now it's all dirty and um uh, good enough it's all dirty and uh full of fingerprints and finger oil and stuff so uh that's not too good uh, I'm I don't think it'll make that much of a difference if it does, then oh well, I can just grab another one. It's not like they're expensive. They're like 13 bucks to get shipped from China. Um, yeah, so I think that's going to be it for the video. Same, basically the same everything as the ghetto liquid cooling, except it's um, 
it's an all-in-one now. Um, G-A-I-O, I call it. Uh, G stands for, or G dot A-I-O, so it's Ghetto Liquid Cooling Project all-in-one, basically. Um, but yeah, so it's just a little cooling um, apparatus I made just for the build. Long cable, 12 volts, runs the fans. Anyway, um, yeah, I think that's going to be it. Fr thanks for watching. Uh, quite a short video. Um, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video, which is the one where I'm testing um, an AMD 5800K and um, a motherboard and some RAM. Don't get excited. It's not mine. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.